What is the quickest way you've seen someone f you asterisk k their life up? A guy I used to work with told me his story when I asked him why he never drove in. One night, he and his buddies got loaded at a club. As they're walking out, he noticed that there was a limo sitting outside with the motor running and no one in sight. So he hops in and tells his buddies that has going to joyride it around the block. Unfortunately, has so blitzed he ended up crashing it into a light pole 100 feet away. Pause and think about the charges that are already amounting. So he gets out and starts to stumble away, at which point the officer who was waiting further up the block to catch potential DUIs runs down and cuts his ass. Then he opens the back door and about 8 terrified high school students hop out. Turns out they were on their way back from prom and the limo driver had made the stop to swap drivers slash shifts. So, in the space of about 5 minutes, this moron was facing no fewer than 5 felonies, and almost 20 years later still doesn't have a driver's license. 18 year old kid threw a brick through my store's front window, and took off with $20,000 of cannabis. Ended up getting, caught an hour later. He will probably spend 20 years in prison. Edit. The 20 years is for more than just the burglary. He was running from the cops, there was a vehicle pursuit, he hit several cars while fleeing. He also was 18, and not allowed to be in possession of cannabis in the first place. If I remember the jail booking report correctly, he also had a suspended driver's license which I assume also means he had a previous criminal or at least juvenile record. Regardless, the dollar value of what was stolen makes it a felony. I was playing at a neighborhood friend's house bunch of dudes riding around and whatnot. A kid wanted to do a flip off a ramp on his bike. He had no helmet either. Kid attempted it, and f asterisk asterisk kd it halfway. Landed on his back with bike on top of him. Like you could hear the sickening crunch on impact, we called paramedics. He couldn't do anything, except lay there crying. My friend's mom didn't let me go home, while they were loading him in the ambulance, and tried to keep us inside. Come to find out he's paralyzed from the neck down. Edit. I realize a helmet wouldn't have done much, but it just kind of scared me watching them go by without one then see this tragedy unfold. A dude drove up and tried to cut in front of several people in the drive through line of a water burger. A security guard approached and told him loudly several times to back off and go to the back of the line. Instead of going to the back of the line, the guy decided it would be a better idea to ruin the rest of his life for a burger. He tried to run over the security guard, who ran out of the way, to force his way further into the line. At this point I don't know how he thought he was gonna get away. He had trapped himself in the drive through lane. He never got his burger, and he sat at the window waiting for it until the police came and arrested him. If he wasn't f asterisk asterisk kd already, he made sure he was, once the police arrived. He was extremely uncooperative and had a brief standoff with them. They had to tase him. I'm pretty sure he got a DUI in addition to whatever kind of attempted assault charges they were going to press on him. Oh, also, when they finally got him out of the car it turned out he was only wearing underwear. My ex admitted to regularly raping a girl starting when she was 8 years old in a phone call with the girl 8 years after it started. He did not know she had contacted the police, and they had gotten a warrant to record phone calls. He got a 45 year prison sentence. Some guy in my school, collected nudes from as many girls in the school as possible, either getting them himself or from friends. He put them all on a public file sharing website. The link got around school, and one of the girls found out, and turned him in. School and police launched a full scale investigation and he went to court. They lessened his child porn charge to something lesser, and he got two years probation, and kicked out of school. He got off light, but such a stupid way, to ruin your life and reputation. Group of high schoolers went hill hopping in this dude's jeep. Two of them were and wearing seat belts, so when they hit a tree going 80 miles per hour, the driver died, and the other guy broke his neck and all of his limbs. The worst part the driver's girlfriend was riding shotgun, wore her seatbelt, and survived basically unharmed, at least physically. Friend's birthday. Got super drunk. His friend offered him a ride home when he wanted to leave. He ghosted. No one knew where he went. He drove home, or tried to, hit a tree on a road with a speed limit of 30. 
Police said he must have been going 70. They think he passed out. He's not smart anymore. He's Forrest Gump now. Which means he's still smart enough to know he's dumb and remember what life used to be like. He can walk, but he no hell never play sports. He gets upset when he forgets names. He's never going to be independent, and he knows it. He's attempted suicide at least once since the accident. Don't drink and drive. Skateboarding without a helmet. Fell, suffered a traumatic brain injury, spent months in rehab and therapy, has seizures related to injuries. Successful mechanic, no longer able to work on machinery, which was his passion. Now lives in his very small hometown with his parents, and has an unfiltered personality which makes building meaningful relationships almost impossible. Way back when they didn't have urinalysis testing in the Navy or any branch of service. That changed in 1982 shortly after I re-enlisted. I quit smoking weed. We were warned of the probable consequences if we got caught after the first Navy-wide test. One of my friends, a shipmate who worked directly for me decided to not take heed because he only had less than 3 months left before his enlistment was over. He was caught on the next one and was given 45 days restriction and extra duty, loss of half a month's pay for 2 months and reduction in rank. F asterisk asterisk K them. I remember him saying as he smoked a joint on the pier 30 days later, after he found out he had to take another urinalysis the next day. Instead of doing his last two months then getting his honorable discharge he was out two weeks later with a bad conduct because he told the captain to suck his dick and threw a punch. He was given a choice. Take the BCD or go before a court martial then off to Leavenworth for a couple years. Screwed up this life. My ex started smoking crack and in six months time we lost our home. He now faces seven felony theft charges and we broke up a 20 year marriage. He f asterisk asterisk kd his, mine, and our children's lives for the selfish decisions he made. We were doing the best that we had ever done financially and now I'm starting over from scratch and our kids are embarrassed by their father who used to be a great dad. Someone I know drove drunk because it was only a few blocks, killed three people, and is now in prison for 20 years. I didn't personally see it. But about 8 years ago some friends in my social circle were at a party and some drunk dude had a gun and decided he wanted to play Russian roulette. He pulled the trigger and shot himself in the head. His family packaged it like a suicide, but there were plenty of witnesses. My little sister graduated high school and got accepted into a very good nursing school in Boston. Had everything going for her. Met a guy that was a heroin junkie. Got addicted and stole everything she could from whoever she could to supply her habit. She passed away from an overdose almost a year ago. Still can't understand why someone would ever try that s asterisk asterisk t in the first place. Such a waste. She was an awesome person. My friend's sister was engaged to a great guy. His only flaw was he was too tough to wear a seatbelt. Crashed his car and died. A few weeks later she found out she was pregnant. So now she's a single mother. So that's at least three lives he f asterisk asterisk kd up by not wearing his seat belt. Was at a University of North Dakota hockey game. There was a moment of silence for the opposing team's coach because he lost a family member, if I remember that correctly. Some idiot kid decides this is a good time to yell f asterisk asterisk k her right in the pussy. He was publicly vilified for the rest of the year. Knew a kid in high school who pretended to be one of the prettier girls in school and texted this desperate jeek asking him for naked pictures. He then proceeded to send the pictures around to everyone at school. He's still in the sex offenders registry for distributing child pornography. Worked with a guy who inherited a few million dollars a successful business and a livestock farm after his grandfather passed away. It all went up his nose within a year. Don't be fooled. Cocaine is a nasty drug. E-D-I-T asterisk 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 G-O-I-N-G. To add some more to this clarify some things. I'm pretty sure cocaine was not 100% at fault I wouldn't doubt if he was doing more than coke. He was obviously not good at handling money. He bought a bunch of big toys, new truck, jet skis, four wheelers things like that. He started partying more and taking care of responsibilities less. The new toys disappeared. Farm went up for sale. 
but he was still partying and doing drugs. After a while, that all adds up. I saw him a little over a year after he quit working with us. He was living with one of my cowhawkers, looked like he had lost about 50 pounds, and was driving an old junker truck. <laughs> Graduate student in mathematics at UIUC, early 2000s. Crossed a busy street, got hit by a car and died. No drugs or alcohol or anything like that. Probably got lost thinking about her research. Just like that bam. It's over. <laughs> New kid gets hired. 18. Just started college. Good looking. Well dressed. Whole 9 yards. First week on the job. Steals $2000. Doesn't even do it smartly. Just loads up some cards. And hands them to a friend. Directly in front of a camera. Two years later we still. Can't figure it out. Steals just enough to make it a felony. Right after turning 18. And in the dumbest way possible. It's like he intentionally wanted to screw up his life. <laughs> Friend of mine decided to pay for an apartment for him, his father, stepmother, stepsibling, and mother. All under the same roof. None of them worked. <laughs> Cousin decided the best way to end an argument with his girlfriend in the car as driving is to fall out the passenger side door at 35 miles per hour and get hit by another car. Brain damage. This was after having twins with his ex-GF who he has to pay support for. <laughs> My brother got a tattoo on his neck of a Mudvayne album cover. My cousin. He was a good guy and very straight laced. He had a house, had a great job despite being a high school dropout and a beautiful wife. He was a super nice guy, dependable and was always eager to help others. He got addicted to drugs in his mid 30s and became a hopeless alcoholic. Heroin, weed, crack, coke, you name it. Soon enough, he lost everything. He ended up squatting in his house for about 6 months without running water or electricity until the cops threw him out upon eviction. He's been quasi homeless for about 4 years now. He fathered 2 children in 3 years with crackheads and has absolutely no way to pay for child support. He's lived briefly with relatives or friends but gets kicked out after brief stays for stealing. He's in and out of jail constantly for vagrancy, theft, failure to pay child support, etc. Every once in a while he's able to convince a family member to help him out, but regret it after it quickly blows up in their face. No one will even answer his calls anymore. It's so sad to think about him now knowing who he once was. Someone in my family was going to be a great professional hockey player. He was young and already in the junior league and so close of being recruited by the NHL. He was working out every day to be in the best shape possible. Then he was caught stealing from the other players in the locker room. He got beat up and then kicked out of the league. Apparently he had been stealing for a while. He was lucky that nobody pressed charges against him. His career ended that day, his bad reputation followed him everywhere, and no other team wanted him anymore. Guy I went to high school with was one of the top HS basketball players in the country. Had signed a full right deal with Duke. Few months before graduation he gets arrested selling crack. Was already 18 so punished as an adult with a felony. <laughs> My sister got hooked on heroin. She's a drug addict now. Went from making a quarter mil a year being a trauma nurse in two hospitals, having a home, two luxury cars, married to an amazing guy, the whole nine yards, to now living on the street and just a strung out mess. <laughs> guy from my country, third world was studying here in the US, a big privilege, and usually takes a lot of effort and money. For some reason, while in Miami he tried to steal a plane, right off the tarmac. <laughs> Meth, PhD engineer in his late 30s on track to be a director, lost his job slash house slash car, no one knows where he is now. <laughs> Cousin broke up with his GF, but not before getting her pregnant. He proceeded to hook up with two more women. He now has three children all with birthdays in the same week. A woman I know received a traffic ticket for failing to stop at a red light. She plead guilty and did not pay the fine. Her license was suspended for failing to pay the fine. She continued to drive. She ended up being ticketed in three different locals for aggravated unlicensed operation because she had an unregistered vehicle, ended up with three misdemeanors and a stint in jail, all within six months. 
prior to the first ticket she had a clean driving record. She ran away to some state in the Midwest with a cocaine and whatever else, dealer. Someone I knew, won't say who for the sake of respect and privacy, great guy, had a loving extended family and a beautiful girlfriend, maybe wife, don't remember if they married, but I know he at least rolled if he hadn't, and one day they allow a stranger with nowhere to go inside their home so he can have somewhere to stay for a few days. The man killed them both and then fled. He was caught in a pizza place not far from where I live, just one town over, sitting in a booth. Two wonderful people killed because they decided to help someone out of the good of their hearts. Heroin. My older cousin had everything going for her. Straight as in high school and planning for pharmacy school. She was supposed to be the one to make something of herself here. Immigrant family. She got caught up with the wrong crowd and got knocked up towards the end of high school. I've never even met the baby daddy. So she ends up cancelling her future to be a mother, which is understandable. But she wasn't the best mother. She wasn't nearly around as much as she should been. She left her daughter to my aunt, her mom, to care for all the time. She gets caught up in partying and drugs. Hard drugs. DUIs. Arrests etc. It's heartbreaking to our whole entire family extended and all. Then she hit the final wall. I get a call from my mom towards the end of my first year of college. I remember it so vividly. I was sitting in my buddy's dorm on a broken fute and watching it accuser is on Oak Island and my phone rings. I excuse myself to answer it. My mom greets me and immediately tells me my cousin is dead from a heroin overdose. Her voice was monotonous and empty. I've only heard that tone in her voice a few times. I recall telling her no this can't be repeatedly. She was found odd in a motel room with her boyfriend who tried to wake her up. There was also suspicion that he waited too long to call 9. Double 1. I don't know the full details. What all I do know is that heroin and drugs don't f asterisk asterisk k up the lives of just the user, but the people around them too. My cousin was a loving and fun person to talk to, but she made bad choices and was barely around. Now my little 9 year old second cousin, her daughter, is growing up without a mom or dad and being raised by my aging aunt who should be retired but can't. My little cousin already has trust issues and is very insecure and sheltered. It's sad but I try my best to make her smile and point her towards a bright future. Party was getting broken up by the cops. One drunken idiot got aggressive with a cop. Apparently the dude kicked the cop. Got charged with assaulting an officer. My 18 year brother plowed his motorcycle at over 50 miles per hour into the back of a car stopped at a stop sign. He was high on coke and not wearing a helmet and after being propelled over the car, he landed headfirst in the middle of the highway. Has lived the last 30 years with a third of his brain missing along with a large portion of his skull. In an instant his life was irrevocably and tragically altered forever and the lives of everyone in our family, honestly. All because of some very immature and irresponsible choices. There was an immature dude at my job, 17 part time, that thought it'd be funny to put broken bits of the saw band in the meat, work at a meat processing plant, while the maintains guys were working on the broken saw band. The ray and metal detector scanners picked it up as it ran down the conveyor line. Whole plant shut down, and they checked the cameras. I'd sag the plant lost around half a million dollars in that 3 hour period and the plant had to dump over 10 tons of beef. The military came in and treated it as a terrorist plot. In the end the kid lost his job and now can't get a decent job anywhere and is on his record. They also ruled it as the kid being stupid. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.